U.S. women's Olympic basketball team embraces experience and versatility, opts for familiar faces over rising star Caitlin Clark. Hello, esteemed viewers. Welcome to the Celeb World Channel, your go-to destination for all things trending and newsworthy. Today, we delve into the captivating world of Caitlin Clark player from Team USA's women's basketball. Before we embark on this intriguing journey, don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for joining USA Let's Dive Right In! Updated June 11, 2024 In a decision that reverberated across the basketball world, USA Basketball unveiled its women's Olympic roster for the upcoming Paris Games notably excluding rising star Caitlin Clark. While Clark, the number one pick in the WNBA draft, had captivated fans with her stellar college career at Iowa and current play with the Indiana Fever, the selection committee cited experience as a pivotal factor in their decision-making process. Generate Sati, chair of the selection committee, emphasized that the evaluation was based on strict basketball criteria, prioritizing high-level experience over potential. Despite Clark's undeniable talent and burgeoning popularity, the committee deemed other players better suited due to their extensive international experience and adaptability to the game's nuances on the global stage. Diana Taurasi, a veteran of five previous Olympic campaigns, headlines the roster, epitomizing the blend of seasoned campaigners and emerging talents. Alongside Torasi, familiar faces from the victorious Tokyo squad, including Brianna Stewart, Aja Wilson, and Chelsea Gray, reinforce the team's continuity and championship pedigree. While Clark's mission sparked debate, the committee remained resolute in its commitment to assembling the most competitive roster devoid of considerations such as marketing potential or fan appeal. Ritsati underscored the responsibility to craft a cohesive unit capable of executing coach Cheryl Reeves' game plan effectively. Clark's exclusion wasn't an isolated case several other standout players, including Ariel Atkins and Eriko Gunvaal, found themselves on the outside looking in. However the door remains open for them to serve as alternates, any of those players, along with Clark, could be taken as an alternate if one of the 12 members of the team is unable to play. There are some questions about Gray's status. The Las Vegas point guard has not played yet this season while recovering from a leg injury suffered in the WNBA Finals last year. Despite the disappointment of missing out on the Paris games, Clark remains undeterred, viewing the setback as motivation to continue her development and aim for future Olympic opportunities. Her determination reflects the competitive spirit ingrained in American basketball culture, where setbacks fuel aspirations for future success. I think it just gives you something to work for, Clark told reporters after practice Sunday. It's a dream. Hopefully one day I can be there. I think it's just a little more motivation. You remember that. Hopefully when four years comes back around, I can be there. The thing that Diana does that I've never seen anyone else do is that she makes everybody around her confident and play their best, Ritsadi said. Whether she's scoring a point, whether she starts, whether she plays limited minutes, whether she's just a voice in the locker room, she infuses people with a level of self-confidence that has been a factor in us winning. As the U.S. women's Olympic basketball team prepares to defend its gold medal in Paris, the focus remains squarely on the collective pursuit of excellence, with each player poised to contribute to the team's quest for glory. While Clark's absence may have stirred controversy, 
The team's unwavering commitment to experience and versatility sets the stage for another compelling chapter in the storied history of American basketball dominance on the global stage.